हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट अकॉर्डिंग टू टीएनएम क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ रीनल सेल कार्सिनोमा इफ द ट्यूमर इफ देर इज अ ट्यूमर इन द किडनी एंड इफ इट इज लेस देन Four centimeters, then it is T1 A. A tumor in the kidney is present and it is confined to the kidney with tumor between four to seven centimeters. Then it is T1 B. Then if if the tumor is confined to one kidney and if the size is seven to ten centimeters, then it is T2 A. If the tumor is confined to the kidney and if it is more than ten centimeters, then it is T2 B. Now, tumor is confined to the kidney and now if the tumor extends into the renal vein, and it extends into the renal vein. and then into the the tumor if it is present and if it is confined to the kidney and if it extends into the renal vein and its branches and if it extends into the peri renal tissue and the renal sinus fat then it is t3a then we have t3b in t3b the tumor is present and this tumor in the kidney extends into the renal vein and from the renal vein if it goes to the diaphragm sorry vena cava and it is extending into the uh, renal vein from there if it goes into the vena cava uh, if it extends into the vena cava then it is t3b then in t3c the tumor is present and there is, it is involving the uh, vena cava okay and then from there if the tumor extends from the kidney into the renal vein from there into the vena cava that is lower part of vena cava from there if the tumor goes into the inferior vena cava above the diaphragm and it even invades the walls of the superior sorry walls of the vena cava then it is t3c then t4 in t4 the kidney is surrounded by gerotus fascia surrounding the kidney we have gerotus fascia gerotus fascia if the tumor extends into the perinephric fat and even if it extends into the gerotus fascia and if it extends into the adrenal gland then it is t4 then that is for t then we have n in the n that is nodes uh, we have only two types of nodes in the node nodal issues we have two types one we have um yeah n1 and n m n0 n0 or n nod n nod is there is no regional metastasis which states n nod n1 states that there is regional metastasis then m0 m0 is there is no distant metastasis m1 it states that distant metastasis is present thank you and thank you for watching